What's up everybody? Well, today I figured I would show you guys how this laptop does at video editing. So, got everything all set up here. Now, you see my phone's still sitting there, but I just use that as a giant viewfinder at this point. And we got the laptop just kind of hanging out over there. Got the keyboard down there I'm gonna be using. Got my mouse right there. Got a headset right there so I can do the voiceovers. And then that's about it for the setup here. It's not gonna be quite as good audio quality because I usually use my Steel Series Octus headset with a studio quality mic, but it should still be good enough. Anyway though, I'm gonna get this thing attached to the uh, camera tripod, get those uh, voiceovers done, and then we'll start the video back up, alrighty? All right, well, just got done voiceovering all of the screen recorded gameplay here. So this is much what it looks like. I'm all done before I jump into the editing program. Now I just have to organize real quick. I usually make separate folders. But anyway, let's move on into the actual DaVinci Resolve video editing program. All right. First thing I'll always do is, since I record with my camera at 4K 60 FPS, I'll always come in and save that as my basic template. Move down to edit. Start off with our intro here. There we go. Now, truth be told, this laptop probably isn't equipped for 4K video editing, but we're going to see if it can do it anyway. So then obviously I would just go through here, trim some of this up. I usually like to get rid of these little blank pieces as long as they're not because a lot of the times that's just since I don't do any you know scripts or anything that's just me kind of brain farting I don't really care that's why I'm showing it to you guys now but obviously you guys don't need to be just hearing a bunch of me spacing out not knowing what to say so that's why I usually just get rid of all of these parts okay come over here Get rid of that. Bring him closer in like so. And boom. And then I'll usually come back. What's up, everybody? And I'll play well, through we it. Got another four. Not gonna obviously do that whole thing, but play through and then I'll add the next uh the next thing. And that's pretty much how I make a video. Okay, and as far as the gameplay files go, like let's just see. We'll move him over there. Now how I do that is I'll put my voice over down here like that and then usually so I've got my games a little louder. I'll take the volume down a little bit. Move that out of the way to when I start talking. There we go. Alright that sounds like it's a little loud so let's just drop down to 1395. Test that out. Alright I think you can hear me pretty well. And that's how I'll try and equalize the game volume versus my voice volume. But there's that. We'll move over to the end real quick. There we go right at the end, get rid of both of those, and then we'd come back down here, and then we'll drop the actual screen recorded gameplay in, and that looks like it's gonna be really loud, so let's actually plop our gameplay file footage down in there, and like so. So far it seems to be headed and handling this no problem. Oh yeah, that definitely needs to get turned the hell down. Go down to 13. 9-5. All right, that actually, I think I'm gonna go a little lower, but all right, so that's pretty much that part, and then we would, uh, okay, and then last but not least, then I would add my, uh, camera recorded gameplay in. Obviously get rid of that, and then we'll see how loud it is. All right, gameplay portion now. That's really loud, so we're gonna equalize that a little with the rest of the video, just a little. That sounds much better. All right, then I just get to the end of that, since I, I want to talk and want the thing to be completely unedited, so I'll just scrub real quickly over here to the end. Let's just fill that small bit of silence, and then we'll add this last little bit in that I forgot about. Equalize the volume a little. I'd say let's move on to the next game, shall we? Yep. I'd say we shall get rid of that and then I will go on to the next game. That's how I make videos. So let's get the rest of this video made and then we'll show you the rest of it and see how long it takes to actually encode. Okay, got this thing all edited up. So now I'm gonna do format MP4, Kodak H.264 at 3840 40 by 2160 Ultra HD, 59.94 FPS, and we're going to restrict it to 80,000 kilobits per second. And now let's add it to the render queue. And now let's start rendering. See how long it takes. Well, actually, wait, I still have it on silent. Go over to my manual settings real quick. Here we go. That should let it start cooling off soon. That thing's probably going to start ramping up. Close that now. I just want to leave that up so I would remember to turn it off silent. Didn't want it obviously making a bunch of noise while I was doing the voiceovers and whatnot. So that's nice that you can just put it in silent and it's whisper quiet. Doesn't make a peep. But all right, we're just going to let this go and we'll obviously just take little tiny uh, breaks and show you how it's progressing. But obviously I'm not going to make you sit here for however long this is going to take. So let's 
just see how long it takes. Okay, so it seems like it's going to take about an hour and some change. It said about an hour and 10 minutes about two minutes ago, so fluctuating Croyd a bit, but that might seem like a lot, but considering we've got like 31 minutes of 4K 60 FPS video, that's actually pretty low. My uh, 900K does it about the same speed, if not maybe even a little slower than that. Eh, possibly a little quicker. It's hard to say really, but they're pretty equal. I mean, the 900K now I think about it might beat it by like 10 minutes or something like that, but nothing crazy. Now, my main editing computer can get the same amount of video done in like 30 minutes or so. 30, 40 minutes, so that's pretty impressive. Sometimes even 20, depending on how long the video is. But anyway, I'm just gonna keep on coming back and we'll keep checking on this as it progresses. All right, here's what it's getting for frequency and whatnot. Well, it's uh, video rendering. We've dropped down to about 53 minutes remaining here, so that's good. Memory's at 95 degrees. All righty, and we'll check back in on this in a little while. Okay, we just passed the 50% done mark. It says we got 32 minutes remaining. It's uh, scooting right along now. And you can hear this thing. Definitely loud, isn't it? But hey, I'd rather it be loud and stay cool and get me good performance, you know? All right, we'll check back on this in a little bit. Okay, it just completed. Took it an hour and seven minutes, 41 seconds, which is pretty good for a 31 minute 4K 60 frames per second video. So good job, laptop, good job. Anyway though, I'd say this video is about done. If anybody wants me to uh, do a uh, 1440p, just a uh, video edit or a 1080p video edit without any of this 4K 60 FPS camera nonsense, just let me know. And I would have no problem doing that at all. Just let me know. And that's about it for this video. So till the next one, peace out guys.